Using ThingLink and embedding hyperlinks to make interactive images is really easy and I'm going to show you how. First of all, if you logged into your ThingLink account, you can create a new ThingLink at any point by clicking the Create button up here or by clicking the icons here from your hard drive, from Flickr, any image URL, or importing from Facebook. So I'm going to click to upload from my hard drive. And this tutorial is going to assume that you already have an image in mind ready to go. The image can be something really simple or it can be something where you've edited the image to add text and things to it. So I'm going to grab a quick image here and it's going to upload. When it's finished uploading, it'll open up in the image editor by default. So just give it a second to do that. You might want to give it a title here at the beginning. So I might call this um, interactive demo. And I need to click somewhere on the image where I want to add my first hyperlink. So I'm just going to click right here and it's going to add a tag. And a panel opens up on the left where you can edit the tag. You can choose the icon that you want to use for your tag. And depending on the type of account you have, you might be limited in which kind of icon you can use, but there are some for you to choose from. I'm just going to leave it as is. And this is where you paste in the URL or the link to the content you want to embed. So let's say I want to embed PicMonkey, which is a web tool that allows me to edit my um, pictures and images. And this is what I use to make ThingLink images. So I'm going to copy the link or the URL for PicMonkey. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste it in to my address. So it's now going to add a link to PicMonkey. And you can see it's going to pull in the basic description summary from the website. You don't have to type anything in here, but if you need to or want to, um, for something else you can, but I'm going to leave that blank and just click Save Tag. So now my tag for PicMonkey is here. I'm going to add another tag. Let's try embedding a YouTube video. So if I click to add a new tag, um, the cool thing about doing a YouTube video is that when you embed it, it will be right here in line on the ThingLink image and you can watch it right here on top of the ThingLink instead of having to go out to the YouTube website. So on YouTube, you go to a video that you want to embed. Underneath the video, you'll have a share option here. When you click it, you'll see the link here for the video. So select the link. You can right click copy or control C, come back to ThingLink. And then in this, this box here, you'll right click and paste or control P to paste. Um, I'm sorry, control V to paste. And you'll paste it in there. So here's my video. And like I said, now you can watch it um, embedded right into your um, your thing link, which is kind of a cool little feature here. So I'll show you what that looks like. I can get it to load up for me. Maybe I just need to save tag first. There we go. All right. So anyways, this will kind of get a little bit bigger. It will fill up the screen a little bit more and you can watch the video right on the thing link. Let's add another tag. So I'm going to click here to add a new tag. It will load up. There we go. It'll load up over here on the left hand side. And now let's say I want to embed a Google Doc. Um, so if I go to a Google Doc. The one thing I do want to tell you about a Google Doc is that you want to make sure that you've set the permissions, the share permissions for the Google Doc ahead of time because if the Google Doc is private to only you and you link it into your um, thing link, it's not going to work for anyone else. When they click the link, it's going to tell them that they don't have access to view the document and they're going to have to request permission and all of that. So I would make sure you go in and click the share button on your document and make sure that you have, you click advanced here, Make sure you've changed the view settings from private to something that your audience can view. For example, if it's something, if it's a thing link that only your students or um, colleagues and things at Carmel Clay Schools are going to use or see, you could choose anyone at Carmel with the link. Um, if it's something that you anticipate parents or people outside of our um, district to look at and if that's okay, remember, you know, think about what you're putting out there, then you might want to use anyone with the link. OK, and save it. And then you're going to get this big link here that you can again um, copy or control C to copy. And then go back here and in here, control V or right click and paste the link in. And you can put in a little summary here if you want um, and then click save tag. So now I've embedded a Google Doc that other people are going to be able to access. Um, one other thing I'm thinking of off the top of my head is what about an image? You can also put images on here. So if I, for example, have an image with a, a URL on the web, then I can copy that link to the image and come back to ThingLink and add another tag and paste in that link. See, it's a, it takes it out to an image and then say save tag. And the cool thing about embedding images and video, like I said earlier, is that when you click on it, 
if it's an image, it just puts it right on the thing link so you don't have to go out to a new tab or a new um, page to go and see that. So um, there you go, there's an image, here's my video that you can watch right on the thing link. Here's a link to a website or a web tool. You can link out to any website or web tool. Um, and then here is a Google Doc, for example. And that's really the basics of adding your tags. You don't have to have the same tag icon for every single one of these either, by the way. If I wanted to change this tag icon, I can just edit this one and maybe make this one red. And maybe I'm going to make this one because it's a video. I'm going to come in here and make it like a little play icon button so that I know it's a video, things like that. And then when you're completely finished, you would click Save Image. And now you have, you can kind of test it out. Sometimes the icon is not exactly where you wanted it to be. You may want to go back in and edit a little tiny bit. But now you can kind of go through and see if I can test that for you. There you go. Now you can see how the video works. Um, now you can click Share on your Thing Link to get a direct link to it that you can then share with people. And that's the basics of using Thing Link and adding links.